Hey there, this is Dan Gentry, and I am starting a series on my Life Balance Radio podcast to uh, go through my 99 steps towards life balance. And uh, we're going to start with number one today, go on through 99, and probably keep going beyond that. Heck, who knows? I may even get another book out of this. All right. So today we're going to be starting at number one. And that's being grateful for what you have. I did a Facebook Live on this a little bit earlier today. And we're going to go and jump to that. See you inside. So the big question is this. How are successful professionals like us going to find life balance with all of the pressures, distractions, and obligations constantly trying to pull us in different directions? And how can we have the success we want and yet still have a full, balanced, and vibrant life that we absolutely love? That is the question, and this podcast will give you the answers. I'm Dan Gentry, and welcome to Life Balance Radio. Hey everybody, it's uh, Dan Gentry again, and um, I wanted to kind of touch on one thing that is really, really important, and that is gratitude. And uh, today I've been feeling very, very grateful. Um, got to go see my son uh, get uh, an award for AB Honor Roll, go Anthony, um, and just realized how grateful I am for so many things in my life. And um, I, uh, in, in my book, uh, 99 Steps Towards Life Balance, uh, to, to tell you how important gratitude is, uh, you know, number one <laughs> is be grateful for what you have, right? Uh, you know, spend some time thinking about all the good things in your life. And uh, yeah, there, there are a few things in life that create more benefit for our life balance, uh, for and quality of life overall than gratitude, being grateful for what you have. You know, so many times when, ooh, sorry, so many times when we're looking at, you know, our goals and our dreams and, you know, so much of what I talk about is, you know, it's very forward thinking. It's, it's the future. It's here's where I want to go. Here's what my dreams and goals are. And that is absolutely important. You need to know what your purpose is and know why you're going forward and all of that. But at the same time, we need to be grateful for what we already have, because if we're not grateful for what we have, there's no way that we're ever going to reach those things and reach the, the dreams that we want, you know, because you have to have that strong foundation before you're able to move yourself forward with anything. So you've got to have that foundation of gratitude, the foundation of thankfulness for all of the stuff that has happened to you that you have all of your past experiences and you know because those are important because they've brought you to where you are right um and yet we have to you know there are some things in the past that we need to just kind of let go but we need to be grateful for the experiences that we've had We're grateful for all of the different uh things in our life that we have to be grateful for and I have an exercise that I do uh, in the mornings, usually when I'm out on my walk, but essentially any time that I want to really be grateful for what I have in my life. And you know, I'd like, kind of like to walk you through that right now. Um, I have in my life balance uh, program, in the life balance triad, I have nine areas of life balance. And for me, what I like to do is when I'm going through my, my gratitude is to actually go through each area of life balance and talk about how grateful I am for everything there. Right. Let's see if I can't, um, post a, a, a picture of that. So I'm uh, putting in here a, um, picture of the life balance triad so that you can um, see that. And um, okay, so what I'm what I would do is I, I start at the foundation of the foundation, right? And that's spiritual. So what am I grateful for spiritually? 
you know, I, I'm grateful for, for God. I'm grateful for my connection to the universe. Uh, I, I'm grateful for the spiritual beliefs that I have for my, the connection to everything really. Uh, you know, there, there's so much in life that our, our spiritual and philosophical foundation gives us. And, and I, I really appreciate that. Uh, you know, I appreciate everything that comes with my connection to the, the universe and to the infinite, right? And, you know, so what is yours? What is, how are you grateful to, to God, to your creator, to the universe, what, whatever your belief system is, right? Um, and then I, I move up to the, the mental, right? How, what am I grateful for mentally, right? Uh, you know, I, I'm grateful for my mind, for my ability to learn, for my, the ideas that come to me, the intuition, which is kind of that link back to the spiritual side, right? Uh, you know, I'm grateful for the ideas, for the concepts, for my you know, abilities to learn, for my, the knowledge that I've gained, the experience that I have had, you know, um, all of the experiences, my memory of all the stuff that has brought me to where I am, my imagination for the future, right? For my, the knowledge that I have, for the, the things that I haven't yet thought of, right? For the, my uh, emotions, for my sense of caring, for my sense of empathy, right? All of those things I, I'm eternally grateful for, right? And then we move up to our physical bodies, right? You know, I'm so grateful that I was able to get out of bed this morning. You know, I, I'm grateful for my vitality, for the, the health that I have. The, I'm grateful that my health is improving. I'm grateful for my weight loss. I'm grateful for this breath for my heart that beats without me having to think about it, for this, my breathing that happens, that I'm able to take in everything in the world. That, you know, there are people that, that don't have some of those things, right? And, you know, even if you are struggling physically, there are things that you're grateful for. You know, I've, Many times I've, I've said, you know, how you doing today to people? And they're like, hey, I'm a, you know, one day above ground is, is good, right? So just being alive is, fan, is a fantastic gift. So be grateful for that, right? And then moving into the, the relationships, into the family, right? I, I'm so grateful for my family. And, you know, when I'm doing this exercise, you know, I start in a small circle and slowly move out wider and wider, right? You know, I'm grateful for my wife. She's absolutely amazing, right? I'm grateful for my children, you know, they, they, and I, I'll go through each and every, <laughs> every child and, and what I'm grateful to them for. And then I move out to my parents and my, you know, aunts and uncles and cousins and, and just, on, on out and just slowly bring that circle wider and wider into all of the different people that I'm grateful for that have helped me, that are, you know, are going to help, that you know, all of the, the support that we have. And then I move out to friends, which is the next level up, and all of the friends and the business acquaintances and all of the different people that are there supporting me, cheering me on. And you know what? Even those that aren't. <laughs> You know, the, you know, it's funny, I, I used to really, really, really have problems when somebody didn't like me or was not fully engaged in me winning, right? And now, you know, I kind of welcome it, to, to be honest. Uh, you know, it's, there's a little, that, that gives me a little bit more drive to, oh yeah? You don't think I can do it? Watch, right? <laughs> so I'm grateful for that. I am, you know, um. And then on up to others, you know, the people that I don't know, and I'm grateful for all of the ways that I am able to serve the world and make a difference, right? That, that's huge. It's absolutely huge to be able to make a difference, whether it's scouts, whether it's, you know, helping out at schools, um, whether it's just being nice to people, 
right? Uh, it's doing what I do and connecting with, with you that's watching this, right? I, I'm grateful for that ability to affect people that I don't even know, right? And then moving up to the material side, you know, I, I'm grateful for everything that I have, you know, for my, under, my financial education, for my understanding of how money works and, you know, for the understanding of investing and, you know, all of those different pieces, the, the, the technology that we have to make tracking our finances, you know, relatively easy, um, you know, the, the investment tools, the, the different knowledge piece, you know, things that are out there that, you know, we can go on YouTube and search up, you know, how do I do investing? How do I do, you know, a financial statement? What are the important financial ratios? All of those different things. It's, it's available out there, right? Be grateful for that, for our income, you know, moving up to the next level. You know, I'm grateful for the job that I have, for the business that I have, for the, the way that I'm able to do what I love to do and make money. Um, you know, I, I'm grateful for the investments that I have, right? And, and what is it for you? What, you know, what ways of bringing in income, even if you hate your job, there are still things to be thankful for. You know, it provides you to be able to eat, right? You know, be grateful for that. So it's going through all of the different areas of how am I grateful, right? And then lastly for, you know, your stuff, right? And I'm grateful for the things that I have. And, you know, I'm grateful for my home, grateful for my car. So go through everything that, that you're grateful for in your life because gratitude is so incredibly important, right? So to bring this all, all back down, you know, we've got to take time. And, you know, right now it's lunchtime. It's a great time to take a few minutes, take five minutes. It doesn't, it's not like, you know, spend two hours, spend five minutes and think about all of the things that you're grateful for, right? You can, you can look at the, the life balance triad that I put in here, go through each of those nine areas, you know, spiritually, mentally, physically, family, friends, others, finances, income, and, and your expenses. And what are you grateful for in each one of those? And I guarantee you that if you will do that, you will be a much, you have a much better afternoon. Okay. So I, again, you know, I've, only meant to be on for a couple of minutes and I've been going for about 15, but, um, yeah, take some time. Really gratitude is so key to being able to move forward and get things done that you want to get done in your life. And yeah, you know, just, so take the time, spend the few minutes that it takes to be grateful for everything and your life will be so much better. All right. So that's my message for today. Thank you for watching and live your life to the third power. Thank you for listening to my podcast, but before you go, would you like to have somebody help you create more balance in your life? Do you have difficulties juggling all of the different things that are pulling on us for our time, for our attention? I have a program that I have just created called the Life Balance Academy. It's a six-week program, full life balance training, everything that I've been teaching over the past 20 years consolidated into one six-week program. This is something that's brand new and I'm very excited to share with you. If you would like more information about that, you can go to my website at www.thirdpowerperformance.com. Until then, live your life to the third power.